I love the fact that we provide a way for people to come down and enjoy the beach in a way that they don't normally experience it. And then also to offer them a way to take a walk with a little more intention than they might normally be doing. I, I'm probably in about the most meditative state I can be in when I'm drawing. Basically, the concept is we draw out a labyrinth on the sand, which is a continuous path, no dead ends, no wrong turns, and then it's a meditation walk around the whole thing. Once I cut that first circle, the rest is kind of an autopilot art-wise, and then I can stop where I want, put a turn in where I want, and then I've got somebody walking towards Face Rock, and I want them to see it a little longer. I can, I can make a, the path go out so they can do that. Uh, and that's all just in the moment. We work basically from May to August. So about every two weeks, we draw for four days. I've modified a rake a little bit uh, to keep the path or the line that I need. Most of the walks uh, average just under a half mile. We have no plan ahead of time. I know that I'm going to have an entrance and an exit right beside each other, right in front, so I can go ahead and put those in. I know that as we enter the labyrinth, we'll always make a left turn. And then there's the words, leave behind what is not needed. Frequently when we talk to a lot of people about what the walk in the labyrinth can be, and um, I frequently we'll say, you know, there's, the tide is going to come in and wash that away. So just, if you're worrying about something, let it go, leave it here. We came down here because we saw a picture of this labyrinth in the Oregonian and I cut it out and we decided we were going to come and see it. I don't even know what to say. I thought it was absolutely fabulous. It's just a really unique experience and we helped rake, so that was fun. It is kind of interesting that we spent two, two and a half hours uh, creating it. We have anywhere from two to 500 people walk it while it's available to walk and then the tide just takes it out. So we have to accept the impermanence of it. What an honor to be able to do what we do, to communicate the love and joy of just being on this planet. What more can we do? Uh, there's nothing else I want to do.